we made an estimate which has no impact on the financial statements but which we can track internally so let's say customer five comes into the shop and they're like hey i made an estimate i'm here to pick up my equipment and there's someone else at the register and it's like oh i don't even i don't even i wasn't the one that did that but let me let me see if i can pull you up in the system here and we go into the system and we see in the customer side we could just click on the estimates so i'm going to click on the estimates and i see oh yes customer five does have an open estimate if you're in the business view by the way and they were doing that you're like well i'm in the business view that would be in the get paid and pay area and then you can go into the customer section here and there's your estimates okay so then this is probably the way that you could you would normally do it but you might also search by estimates here that's another way that you can do it or you might go to your sales tab and then search by your estimates here these are all ways that you can you can all statuses and pending open estimates typically right you could do that as well but most likely most people would say if they came in i'm going to go to the sales i'm going to go to the customers and search by customer or i can sort it by estimate making it a little bit easier to find the customer you can open that up and, and then i say oh yeah you've got an estimate outstanding i can create an invoice with it and I could uh, have a payment that we want to apply out to it of $200. So let's do that now. So we're going to apply that out. Also, just note that we've got this negative kind of receivable of that $200. This, once I complete the process of making the invoice, that $200 will be applied to the invoice and will be, everything will be good. Our financial statements will be reported properly. It's a little bit improper right now because that negative 200 should actually be a positive liability so there's a bit of a timing issue where it's not exactly right but we can adjust that if we need to at the end of the period with an adjusting entry if we want to report the financial statements uh, and internally this works really well so let's go ahead and make the invoice so i think the easiest way to do that would be just create it from the estimate and so we'll just make the invoice there's customer number five we're going to go through this and say, let's do it on the, the 7 I guess we can keep that date. And then we'll keep the number, whatever. And then down here, the items pulled in. There's no income tax related to it because we don't deal with inventory items. The items are the, I mean, the items are the things that drive whether they're sales tax or not. And so this will be a pretty straightforward. So we're going to sell them this band set. And then they've got the guitar and added guitar and some added amplifiers and we can then find the stuff that we hopefully saved for them and give them uh, the stuff and what's this going to do it's an invoice it's going to increase the accounts receivable by the 2260 and the other side is going to go to the sales revenue driven by these items which i believe went into its own revenue account because we told it to in the item which is rental income of some kind uh, also note that i don't if I gave this to the client, it's not taking into consideration the $200 prepayment. So I'd like to have down here somewhere the fact that they already gave me the 200, not to record a transaction because that transaction has already been recorded, but I'd like to see how much is owed. So there's kind of a two-step process to do that. I have to first, I can post this, I can save and close it. I'm not going to give it to the client this way. I'm going to save it and close it. And then if I go back into customer five, notice it kind of did it automatically here where that it made the invoice now partial, means partially paid, and the payment, which was unapplied before, has now been applied. So if you don't want to, that to happen automatically, or if you want to change it, you can go back in here and uncheck it. If you don't want that to happen automatically, then you could turn off the settings in the cog up top to, to switch it, but usually, that's a pretty good system so i can say okay now it automatically applied my invoice the credit to the next invoice that i made if it didn't you can go in here and manually do it and then i can go back into the invoice which should now be properly represented this didn't this didn't record any new transaction by the way this payment it was already recorded the only thing that quickbooks did for us is link this payment to the invoice it didn't make another transaction no added impact happen to the financial statement other than what we already talked about with the invoice so if i go back into the invoice now i can give it to the client this way and they got this little thing down at the bottom which says oh yeah you you already paid the 200 and i applied that out so now you owe us 2060 
The invoice is still just recording an increase to accounts receivable of the 2260 and income of 2260. The $200 is just representing the fact that they already paid us an advance payment that is now being applied out. But it's, but I already recorded that before. It's just here for informational reporting purposes, not to record a new transaction. But I can now provide this to the client if I so choose.